Hey guys, this is Dr. Mobin. We're talking about central nervous system and the lecture today very important from USMLE steps point of view and from clinical point of view as well. This is the pathology or congenital malformations of the central nervous system. Very, very important. Why? Because of couple of things. Number one, the folic acid and riboflavin deficiencies and their introduction at the correct time administration at the right time can actually reduce the chances of um, you know some of the pathologies you will see here. Secondly, alcohol abuse or other substance abuse can cause the mental retardation or the problems with the, with the child embryo. So, this is really important to understand that what are various kind of pathologies you would encounter these questions in the, in the steps as well and you would see patients uh, who would also have you know their children going through these problems. So, let us look at it very quickly the, the way to look at the pathologies is this or the congenital malformations is following. One is separate these out into the cranial region malformations and then the spinal region mal malformations. So, the cranial region over here anencephaly absence of the uh, absence of the cerebral cortexes or the brain area. Cranium bifidum, Arnold Carey malformation, Dandy Walker, hydroencephalus, holoprosencephaly, all of these are cerebral or higher areas, uh, brain area, brain malformations. And then spina bifida are the spinal cord. That is one way of looking at it. Second way to look at this is that there are, there are malformations where there is a tissue that is absent versus there are malformations where there is a tissue that is, that is protruding, that is forming a cyst or a seal or myloseal, meningoceal type of reaction. The third way is to see that there are sometimes separation of that symmetrical bilaterality that needs to appear, that separation into two, for example, in the case of uh, the bi cranium bifidum, that, that separation does not happen. The another way to look at this is that many times these malformations occur because of the folic acid deficiency in the early part of the pregnancy. Remember that the brain development as we were doing, it is, it starts at the third week and within two or three weeks, the whole structure is formed. So, then it keeps developing till the eighth month and then after till one year for the myelination and then the connections keep developing till the adolescence. But the initial one or two months, if the mother is, you know, abusing alcohol or she has substance abuse problem or she is smoking. And in addition to that, maybe she is taking some medicines that are teratogenic on top of that if there is a problem with the folic acid or vitamin deficiency, these things can happen. So, uh, ad co co administration of folic acid at the right time is really, really important. Normally, you start a woman who is, who is planning to become pregnant, you start her on the folic acid and the vitamins before even she becomes pregnant and then continue on during the pregnancy, especially in the initial months. So, keep these kind of things in your mind when you are thinking about the malformations and the effects of those. So, now let us start. First of all is the anencephaly. Anencephaly as we were talking about it in our previous two lectures as well, it is mostly, it occurs because of the lack of closure of the cranial neuropore. So, if I make the neural tube here, this is the neural tube. Neural tube has in the, during the development, it has a caudal neuropore that is open and then it has a cranial neuropore that is open. Remember through this, through these neuropores, the CSF is actually, actually appearing out on the ectoderm not on the ectoderm. Let me explain that in a second. Here is the ectoderm. So, the, if you put, take a bowl, take a half balloon or half sphere or half ball, put it here. So, that would be the amniotic cavity. So, if I, if I draw that here again, this is the ectoderm. On top of the ectoderm is the amniotic cavity. So, here is the neuropore. Neuropore is a communication of the neural tube up on the, in the amniotic cavity, ultimately it closes. 
but when it does not close what happens is alpha fetoproteins which are part of the, the CSF and the acetylcholine esterase enzyme which is also part of the CSF they both spill out into the amniotic cavity and AFP actually then appears in the mother's serum as well. So increased AFP and acetylcholine esterase in the amniotic cavity or increased AFP in the mother is actually an indication that there is some problem with the neuropores and when do the neuropores close we know that the cranial neuropore this is a cranial cranial it is the more swollen side is a cranial side cranial closes at 25th day and caudal closes at at 27th day. So it is so critical 25th day and 27th day if the mother is abusing the substance or she is not having the folic acid these are not going to close and once these are not closed when the cranial neuropore is not closed then the anencephaly occur. It occurs in 1 to 1000 1 in 1000 births in US however in certain regions for example certain regions in China 1 to 100 which is a very high number 1 to 100 numbers for the anencephaly the, the embryo the, the born child would have a frog like appearance and and the, the facial area and this the brain area is really flattened and there is no brain in there. So that is the anencephaly.